Hey guys, what is up? It is Bibzu the Seven here again, and welcome to another episode of the Collection King series, episode number five, coming at you guys here today. We've got quite the variety of clips in this video, so I hope you guys do enjoy that. And we also do manage to complete our second collection in this one, which I thought was a fitting reason to upload our next episode. So yeah, it's just a little bit of an intro. Hope you all do enjoy, and um, thanks for checking it out. Yes! Let's go! Finally, my first shield from Rots. Oh my god, it's only been like 110 KC. Let's go, finally, man. Let's go! We got our first shield from Rots. It is the Merciless Kite Shield, which is the magic one. So that is pretty sweet. Means we only need two more of them, obviously. There's three. We need the Vengeful and Malevolent Kite Shields left. So, man, I thought I was never going to get one of these because they are supposed to be 1 in 80, so I'm not that unlucky, but it just feels so long compared to. I, I, I know somebody in my clan who got all the shields in 40 KC. So, yeah, that's. Uh, that's my expectation. <laughs> but uh, yeah, glad to finally get that. Let's see uh, if we can get any more before the end of this session. Okay guys, another full raid completed here and we are about to loot ourselves a Yakamaru. We actually have just reached 60 Beastmaster kill count on this raid. So that means I am now at the threshold for the pet which is now at, hold on, I'm quickly looking up the drop rate to be sure. The drop rate is now going to be 1 out of 150 for me, as it was previously 1 out of 300. And someone in our team just got the, that drop that I want. The Acto Primeval Mask is what I'm hoping for. Um, and I think this was 49th Yaka, so one more kill for the nice 50 kill count, uh, so that's pretty good. But uh, yeah, let's see what we can get here from Yaka. Hopefully something good, or at least a burial charm to tide us over. Let's see. Oh my god, we got a large Gobi burial charm. I'm pretty sure those are like hella rare, um, which kind of sucks because, I don't know. I, like I've seen people say that they're rarer than Acto, but I'm not 100% sure on that, the truthfulness of that. but. At least we got a charm. I don't know. I asked for a charm. I wasn't wanting a large one, but we have Beastmaster here. The 60th kill count kill. Maybe it will be lucky for us, and unfortunately no, but we do get another Gobi Burial Charm, so I guess that's good. Um, but either way, nothing good from this raid. Hopefully we can get something good on the big 5-0 for Yaka. We'll have to see uh, on the next raid, but see you guys for the next clip. All right, guys, we got another full raid to loot here in the uh, Yakamaru fight arena here. Just got my 50th Yakamaru kill, so I got some kind of achievement or whatever. Yak and Ruin 4, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Hopefully we can manage to get another piece of that sweet, sweet Acto here, but I'm not really expecting it. I don't know. This is my 50th kill. I said if I got up to 50 without getting another drop, I would start... Uh, Hoping a little bit more for one, so maybe after this we can get it. Let's see what we can get here. Uh, nope, we did not get it. Uh, that is unfortunate. Really hoping to get the Primeval Mask soon, but 
I'll just go ahead and screenshot that and we'll head out for the BM loot. See if we can get anything from him, but most likely not as his drop rate is even worse than Yaka's, but we'll try it out. Loot ourselves from Fletcher here and collect the Beastmaster and wow, barely even a mill from Beastmaster there. That is very depressing, but hopefully we can get something on our next raid. There's always the next one. Um, and oh yeah, this was also our first Beastmaster kill with the improved pet chance that we got from reaching the first threshold. Did not manage to get the pet, obviously, but either way, it's uh, it's nice to be at that threshold, so we obviously have an increased chance at this point. But yeah, kind of unfortunate. I mean, it's just, it's always depressing when uh, you don't get anything from a raid, but still worth doing them and uh, I'm halfway to the 100 kills for you know final boss on Yakamaru but it's obviously gonna take me far longer than that to get all the acto pieces so it doesn't really make a huge difference the kill count at this point but yeah I'll see you guys in the next clip Yes! Let's go. Oh, and the Steam Battle Staff. Oh my god, we got a Steam Battle Staff on our seven second record kill. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> Guess I'll have that in the video as well, so that'll be pretty cool. Oh, I didn't even have my Luck of the Dwarves back on because I was too focused on getting that record kill. I've been going for, uh, see if I could get a new personal best record for here, and I did manage to get a seven second record. Which tells me even more that I could get probably like four or five at Bandos. I mean, it's just using like regular methods like Bert, uh, Zerk, and then just thresholding and everything. So nothing too special. Like I'm not doing any of the crazy strats with people that use like granite malls and get like zero second kills or whatever. Like at Bandos. So I'm pretty proud of that. I'll take the seven second kill. Um, don't really think I'll get much better than that with this current setup. So. Let's see if I, um, I'm not sure if that's an item even, I think it's on the collection, did I, did I get a new item? Yes, we did, we get, that is a new item for our, uh, Zami, God Wars, Kirill, whatever, collection, so, pretty sweet, I'll take it, it's not worth anything really, I don't think, 20k, so, um, hopefully we don't get too many more of those on our way to the full collection here, but, yeah, pretty happy with that. Hey, just managed to pick up some Boots of Subjugation here at Krill. Um, I don't know if I have those or not yet. I do believe so. Let's quickly check the collection. Yes, we did already have those, unfortunately, but still. It's a nice drop to add to the tab, I guess. Nice Boots of Subjugation worth 1.4 mil. Just getting started on this trip, to be honest, so pretty likely that I might have some more drops from here coming at you pretty soon. Oh shit, just got the attack pet here at Zami God Wars, guess I'll throw that into the collection video, I don't know. Uh, I've gotten quite a lot of uh, attack experience since uh, I came back, so glad to get that. I'll probably switch over to strength now, but we managed to get Sifu, or whatever, Saifu, whatever the hell, however the hell you want to say it, pretty sweet. Um, I thought it was the Zami pet, because I saw it in the chat, but no. And we got a God Sword Shard 1. That's the third God Sword Shard 1 we've had on this task, and we've had no other shards. Let's quickly switch over to Strength Training. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We got the attack pet. Alright guys, it's time to loot another full raid here. So let's see what we can get from this one. I do have luck. Oh, I don't have my luck of the dwarves with me actually. Um, I think I can just leave and then loot them both from Fletcher, so it shouldn't be a huge deal. I forgot that I uh, have started to make sure I'm wearing Asylum Surgeon's ring for most PVM stuff now. I went and finally got it back after being lazy and not getting it back from after uh, doing the Master Clue Hidey Hole. But, anyways, let's get Yakamaru first as usual. 
see what we can. Wow, 58 raids and no acto for that guy. That sucks. But <laughs> he did get the Beastmaster pet during this raid, actually, which was pretty lucky. Uh, either way, let's go ahead and loot this Yakamaru kill, and we get absolute trash, unfortunately. That really sucks for Yaka. Um, oh well, I guess. We are now on 51 Yaka kills, so hopefully I can get another piece of Acto pretty soon. Um, but we're going to go ahead and loot our Beastmaster now, and we get two Serenic skills, two mil loot, almost nearly the same as Yaka, so that was pretty bad. Um, hopefully we can get our Acto mask before too long. Oh, apparently this guy's waiting on the Acto mask, so that does, uh, that's not good. Hopefully uh, we don't have as bad luck as him, but yeah, another full raid in the books. Uh, I'll see you guys for the next clip. Well, would you look at that? We just got ourselves another orb here at Telos, and we are going to streak it. Let's see if we can get the double orb chest to finish off our orb set, you guys. I'll see you for the next clip. I fucking did it. I fucking got the triple orb chest, my ultimate dream. I didn't even record the corrupted orb because I was too hyped and I was like, fuck it, I'm not even claiming the orb set. I'm going in, I'm trying to get this triple orb, and I fucking did it. Oh my fucking god, I can't believe it. I had these two orbs in the chest for 19 kills and I fucking got the triple orb. Holy fucking shit. My dream at Telos has been realized. I am so hyped. Holy fuck, that is so sick. <laughs> I can't wait to see this broadcast in the chat. Are you guys ready? Are you ready to see this? Boom. Oh my god. Alright guys, we've got another full raid loot here. Uh, hopefully we can get our Acto Primeval Mask coming in. Got my Luck the Dwarves equipped. I do have my ASR back, so I have been using that uh, primarily. That is 52 Yaka kills and 63 Beastmaster. So we are nearly at the threshold for Yaka as well, and we'll be at a 1 out of 150 drop rate for the regular pets. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and loot Yaka here and see if we can get our next piece of Acto. Unfortunately not. We did get a Gobi Burial Charm at least to get our rep a little bit along. Um, I think that's 50 or 100 reps, so... We're getting kind of close to having the reroll ability, so at least I have that to hopefully look forward to soon. But now we're going to loot our Beastmaster, and you know, you never get the Acto from Beastmaster, so I'm not expecting anything. But let's go ahead and loot him, and we get garbage from Beastmaster as usual. Kind of sucks. Um, hopefully next raid we can get something, I don't know. I'm kind of getting a little bit depressed here, because I know how the drop rate is way worse for all the rest of these Acto pieces, so... Yeah, got a lot of raids in the future. Um, just I have been doing them every two days, so at least I'm keeping up with them like that. But still, uh, I'm going to be so glad when I eventually finish here. Um, we got 3450 reps, so we need about 1500 more for the reroll ability. Right, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next clip. Alright guys, yet another full raid coming in here. Hopefully we can manage to pick up our Acto Primeval Mask. Um, I think we're at 53 Yaka now, so really hoping we can at least get it before 60. Um, I don't know, it's, it's just so depressing because I literally only get one of these kills every two days. And I don't know, I, I just hate the, the raid system, like the looting system at raids, I mean just seems so dumb to me like I would camp here so hard if I got zero loot but still had a chance at Acto um, I would just camp it until I got the whole set but fortunately that's not the way things work uh, either way let's go ahead and loot this raid I've been doing Jelly Wrangler on uh, Yakka a lot and I actually kinda like it it's pretty easy and it actually makes the Mirage go way smoother because more often than you'd think, a lot of people get just, like ruined by jellies because they're not paying attention to them spawning or whatever. So having someone round them up really helps more than you might think. But let's go ahead and loot ourselves the Yakamaru's helmet. And fuck, man, we still didn't get Acto from here. Damn it. I'm really hoping we can get it soon. Um, I'm not sure how many kills it's been since our full glove and boot set was finished. I might be able to quickly pull up my loot here um, so looks like it's been 
nine. Because we, we got the Acto Tempest boots on kill number 44. So it's been nine full raids at least since then. Yeah. So I guess that's, I mean, <laughs> that's not really too bad, which is depressing to say because that's literally almost a month. Like it's getting close to a month of raiding every two days to get only nine uh, full raids in. So I don't know. <laughs> pretty depressing when you think about it like that. Uh, I'm quickly looking to see the actual drop rate one more time. So it's only 1 out of 50, oh no, it's 1 out of 25 because I have the non-acto and then it's improved slightly by luck of the dwarves. So I guess we can't really complain until we get a bit more kills in but because the other acto pieces are 1 out of 15 if you have the non-acto plus a slight improvement from luck of the dwarves. So, yeah, it's uh, about 1 in 20, like, one, 1 in low 20s area, so I guess I can't complain just yet, but it, I kind of can because if you multiply those two together, I mean, I have 9 full raids, that's 18 loots, so I'm getting close to that point at least, uh, although Durzeg's drop rate is slightly worse, it's still, you know, worth considering. Either way, let's go ahead and loot Beastmaster and we don't get anything. I really don't need, like, if I don't get the Acto piece from Yaka, I just, I, I already write it off as like a fail, like I'm not getting one at all from this raid because, um, I don't know, Beastmaster just never seems to be good to me. Um, I do have, actually have a small charm, I got this from the Traveling Merchant at the Deep Sea Fishing Hub, he sells these sometimes. So that's re those are really nice. Like that guy is so nice. Like it's, it's some of the stuff he sells is so useful. Um, like I'll always buy the charm. I'll buy the VIP tickets. I will buy the dungeoneering to uh, card thing. So I'm actually going to join that FC right now to uh, see what today's stuff is. Whirlpool D and D. If you want to get the merchant area or merchant location. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next clip though. Still no new Acto pieces, kind of depressing. All right guys, so this is a quick little bit that I just wanted to talk over because I forgot to record during this, unfortunately. But um, this week was Scopulous Rotation at Virago and it gave me the opportunity to finally start doing some Virago with some people I have on my friends list as well as some people in my clan. And um, it was really, really fun. I really enjoyed doing Virago. It's, you know, kind of relaxing a little bit because of the way the uh, fight works where it's time-gated at quite a few spots. So it makes it, you know, just kind of you can just chill and do your rotation. And then, um, you know, you got to focus up and get sweaty for phase five. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I kind of enjoy it. I'm up to 43 KC on Virago at this point. And we, uh, the, the Vitalis week just started, so probably won't do as much as I did on the Scop week, but still, it shouldn't be too hard. And then next week is Team Split, which is also quite easy, so probably we'll have some more Virago clips in the coming videos. I just didn't remember to record any actual clips for this video, uh, so my bad on that again. But either way, um, we did manage to get a Seismic Singularity. Unfortunately, it was not to me it was to one of my teammates HP warrior managed to pick it up so uh, I do not get that on my collection which it kind of stinks but still it was pretty cool um, you know you can see the loot for that trip right here we managed to get uh, a split of 30 mil because we were four manning for that uh, singularity and then obviously the tectonic energy you always split that when you are uh, doing team Virago but yeah that's basically it you guys I thought um, I would just do a little post commentary for this to uh, show it off. I, I kind of want to show drops that I miss at bigger bosses like this, like Virago, or at something like AOD. I would definitely want to show like drops that I missed because they're still pretty decent in terms of you know how much money I'm making from these, uh, you know, doing these bosses and stuff. So yeah, missed out on a seismic singularity. This was pretty early on in the week and haven't seen or had anything since, but. Still, I'm pretty happy with uh, doing Virago, and I'll probably be doing quite a bit more of it in the future. Uh, and I have been recording all my kills since then, so the next dr uh, drop we get will definitely be uh, a live one. But either way, uh, let's move on with the rest of the video. Let's go, guys. We just got an orb of volcanic anima here at Telos. Orb number 25. 
in the books. 400% enraged on the dot looks pretty cool. Is it a luck of the dwarves orb? It never really is, is it? But we are probably going to streak this a little bit. See if we can get a double orb. Really doubt it. Um, but I'm, I'm, and I'm probably going to claim it pretty soon because... I don't know, I'm not feeling super good at uh, Telos right now. I'm not sure why, but I don't know. Uh, pretty happy to get that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just uh, very nice, very nice. Just writing it down in my drop log here. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get the uh, the other orb before too long. I'll see you guys for the next clip of me claiming or getting the orb. Alright guys, so you might be thinking I died. No, I did not die. The font is not spinning for that reason. I um, I just left after killing it. Uh, the loot's still in here. I am thinking about just claiming this. I did one more kill after the orb got, and then my aura was out. Um, and I probably will end up just claiming this. Kind of uh, don't really want to risk it at too much higher of an enrage. I mean, I'm not at that high enrage really, but um, still, I don't really feel the same motivation to streak items as I did before because I managed to f get my dream of the triple orb chest so I don't really feel like a huge motivation to streak items but I mean if I got something at really low enrage I would streak it um, I, I could still streak this but I don't have maniacal up for another five hours now and I can't reset so I don't really think it's a good idea to go in you know not really ready with an orb in the chest I don't know uh, I'm not claiming it in this clip though. I uh, I kind of wanted to do a little something funny for this. I want to like maybe go to Araxor or mainly Araxor probably could be could do Nex as well. But I kind of want to do it at Rax and then get a hilt at Rax like a Fang, a Web, or an Eye. And then once I get that and that broadcast, just instantly come here and claim the orb and just kind of like make everyone on the world be like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> just kind of for fun. Uh, so I'll probably do that. That'll probably be my next clip, um, but you know, there's no telling. I might just go insane and actually streak it a, a little bit further, but either way, uh, I will see you guys in the next clip. Hey, we just managed to pick up an Armadil Buckler here at Armadil, which is our first item for the, uh, the set uh, or the collection. That's pretty sweet. Managed to get this on our task, so I'll definitely take that. Quickly screenshot it, and uh, yeah, let's go into the tab as our first armadillo item from Armadillo Gobbler's Dungeon. And we also got the book, because I hadn't had any of the drops, so look at that. I guess that's for getting one of each book. I'm not sure what that achievement was for, but I will take it. See you guys for the next clip. Okay guys, so we are about to loot another full raid here. Um, the reason I am not still inside the Yaka place is because if I do get a drop, I am going to go and claim my Telos Orb. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm trying to go for like the weird double broadcast of like getting a drop somewhere else and then going and claiming the orb right away. So that's what I'm going to be trying here. Hopefully I can get something. I'd be, I'd be even kind of okay with the codex because it would let me do what I wanted to do. So we want the uh, the Yaka loot first uh, and then the Beastmaster. So that was, uh, it was a pretty good raid. I did some, uh, some pretty good rolls that raid I'd say. Uh, and it was pretty fun. I don't know. I'm liking getting into doing like a bunch of rolls at once in like a Yaka kill. It's pretty fun. Um, but 54 KC there. Uh, let's go ahead and collect our Yakamaru loot and damn it. We did not get any Acto or a Codex for the uh, for the chance at going and grabbing my orb, but 
Um, yeah, pretty bad loot from Yaka as well. Hopefully we can get something from Beastmaster, but I doubt it. Let's go ahead and loot our Beastmaster. Damn it! <laughs> I want to do the double broadcast thing, but I can't get a drop aside from that next drop that I got, and I forgot because I'm stupid. I was too focused on nexing, but either way, that's another full raid with nothing. Hopefully we can get some thing uh, within the next few. Alright you guys, we're going to go ahead and claim our orb at Telos. I wasn't able to get the cheese broadcast and now I have a double or a Telos Reaper assignment that I want to complete. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch it over to him and go and claim this orb. Pretty sweet to be getting this one. It's our 26th orb on our way to our 9th orb set. So yeah, um, like I said, not really super motivated to continue streaking orbs. Uh, unless, I mean, I will obviously, if I get it at really low in rage, or anything like that, or, you know, if I get a, if I, I'll, I'll be more inclined to do so with a green orb, just because I want, I would want, I try to, want to try and get a green, red, black, instead of the weird way I had it last time, a black, or a red, black, and then green, but, either way, orb of volcanic anima, into the bank, right now, boom. Pretty sweet. Um, hopefully we can get the third orb before too long. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Oh my god, what? Are you kidding me? I just got a second Dragon Kite Shield at QBD before I've gotten the full Royal Crossbow or the Dragon Bone Upgrade Kit. That is ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know whether to be ha like happy or mad. Let me quickly look it up here. I want to see the drop rate. 1 in 128 for that. Dragon Bone Upgrade Kit is 1 in 64. And then the Royal Crossbow piece that I need is 1 in 25. And I've had two of these and neither of those. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Well, we'll see if we can get anything else from this Black Dragon's task. What? What? What, dude? What do you mean? What the hell is that? <laughs> I just got like within like 10 kills of each other and I still don't have the stuff that I actually want. Oh my god. I don't believe that. What the hell? <laughs> that is just the most unlucky luck I've ever seen in my life. My god. Well, hopefully we can get something different <laughs> in the rest of this task. You see them trying to stun me under that rock? Yeah, they You see that it. shit? <laughs> well, here comes your torso. Congrats. Oh my god! <laughs> Mom, dude, 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 are Let's you go, dude. Are you kidding me? Let's are you go. Kidding? Is it are luck of the doors only? Let's go. Are you kidding me? I love this. I'd streak that. I fucking it's love Tella. Well, I better get a leg fang, leg fang now. Oh my god. <laughs> what, a, what the fuck is going on? Literally 27 kills after my other orb. What are you, just fucking post Cause I, a Cause I did post one kill, and then I did a 26 streak. Can I did you just say soccer mom on reddit, make that the title of your post, and post like... Post all, all your, like, my drops that I've ever gotten. All your below like 300% and just be like... <laughs> be like, I don't have warden yet, but Telus is treating me nice. I don't have <laughs> warden <laughs> yet. You should say, I don't have warden yet, but Telus is treating me nice. <laughs> that is fucking ridiculous. That is fucking ridiculous. I'd streak that. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yes! We managed to pick ourselves up a royal frame here at QBD, and that is the last piece I needed for the full royal crossbow set here in the collection. Go ahead and look in there. Boom. 11 out of 12. All we need now is a 
Dragon Bone Upgrade Kit and we will be done with the QBD collection. 34 more Black Dragons to go. Let's hope I can get it on this task, but yeah. We've completed the Royal Crossbow. Pretty sweet. Oh my god. Two kills later we get a second Royal Frame after not getting one for so long and just getting duplicate pieces of the other of the other parts of the royal crossbow <laughs> wow so many torsion springs as well but whatever i guess i'll take it hopefully we can manage to pick up that dragon bone upgrade kit it's only one in 64 i mean we've killed uh, quite a few qbds and we've had three dragon kite shields like come on surely we can get the dragon bone upgrade kit here Oh, well, we got a torsion spring from this one, I guess. Um, another one of those. I think that's our sixth one now. Um, but, yeah. Royal crossbow pieces. Pretty common from here. Still no upgrade kit. Really hoping we can get it before the end of this task, but honestly, I doubt it. Oh my god! What? 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 What do you mean with this crap, dude? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. That is stupid. This is stupid. This is stupid right here. That is what stupidity looks like. Four of these before I get a single upgrade kit. Get out of my face with that. That is ridiculous. Oh my god. Huh? What's up? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, we're about to finish up our Slayer task here of QBD, basically. That's all I did for this Slayer task of Black Dragons. I do not have Anti-Fire up right now, so I kind of don't want to get, ant get Dragon Breath, but there we go. Managed to get it without having to go get another Anti-Fire from the bank, and that is the task completed. I got hella trolled by the QBD during this task. Uh, you guys will have to wait and see the during my Collection King series, though, because uh, it involves drops, of course, but... Yep, that is that for the QBD. Unfortunately, we still haven't completed the collection. That's all I'm going to say about it, I guess. Um, but either way, let's go ahead and get a new task here from Morvron with the good old Slayer Cape and see what he has to give us. I'd like some corrupted creatures or some nice, fast, and easy task, but we'll have to see what he has in store. Soul Devourer is just exactly the same thing, pretty much. I will go do those. Actually, I think I get to do the new ones. I just unlocked the feline, so I'll try those out, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. <coughs> right here. Yes. Another Royal Torsion Spring for the, for the collection. I think that's my ninth one. Visage again, really. Let's go! We have completed the QBD collection, everybody. We managed to get the Dragon Bone Upgrade Kit finally. After so many troll kite shields and everything, let's go ahead and bank that and we will get the message. The Blackout feat has been completed. My second boss collection is accomplished. That's pretty sweet. 
Let's take a look at everything in the interface here. We have 691 kills and 12 out of 12 completed. We received 5, 9, 18 royal crossbow pieces with half of them being torsion springs. I think I only got two of these visages from here. I got one from like Slayer or something. Four freaking kite shields and finally the upgrade kit. I also got the pet um, at a certain KC which I will quickly look at for you guys so I don't get it incorrect. I just want to be sure. The QBD pet I got at... Uh, da -da. I don't know why this is the worst screenshot I ever took 489 KC for the pet so yeah just so you guys know and that is our second boss collection we have completed it and we now have the experiment title I believe no, never gonna get uh, rid of my dormant title of course but yeah I think that's a good way to end this video off you guys we completed our second boss collection the next one I complete will almost definitely be General Grador because I only need the pet there but yeah, pretty happy with that, and I'll see you guys in the next clip.